years ago, I finally decided to start my own YouTube channel. I was eager to share my passion for photography and videography with the world. However, after a while, I started to feel discouraged because I wasn't getting the result I wanted. And my video's quality wasn't up to my standard. I started to doubt myself and eventually took a pause from creating content. But how that all changed when I stumbled upon a powerful phrase that completely shifted my perspective. You don't have to be a genius. It's been a while since I had the opportunity to shoot street photography in New York. So I decided to take my skills to New Brunswick in New Jersey and give it a try. I'll be exploring the new environment uh, and challenging myself to capture the perfect shots if I can. As you know, someone who been shooting more video lately, um, especially in my wedding videography uh, company, I find it difficult to get you know back into street photography, and um, at the same time, um, you know, shoot photos as well and video. That is why in this episode I'll be focusing you know more on videos as you'll be seeing, and I will be doing a little bit of photos because it hasn't been. Uh, something I've been used to for a while. I decided to stop over here after driving for a couple of minutes looking for what to shoot and what not to shoot and as you can see there's not really much going on in this area uh, it's a new is a new bonus week and I think I walked around and tried to look for places where I can shoot and you know stuff that looks good to me uh, it was a little bit difficult and rough at the beginning and I wasn't really doing much of photos I did a little bit and I get tired of it because uh, I was used to the New York kind of photos where I shoot people at random the fast pace and um, there's always something interesting to shoot but here you have to slow down look around pay attention and try to look for something good so I might sort this and uh, I just decided to you know, take a couple of pictures hoping that it comes out good but something here is uh, my Fuji X100V is acting up and I wasn't able to uh, see the photos I took until I got home check it on my computer to see if it's actually good or not so each and every photos in this video were actually shot without having an idea of what I was shooting except for what I see before I take the pictures I wasn't quite sure if I if the pictures were good I just continued that way so I was shooting more video and because I wasn't really you know into photos right now I wasn't quite sure what to do uh, with what pictures to take but you know the video side of it is something I've been used to and I felt I felt at home and um, you know I try as much as possible to take photos even here as well um, I take took a little bit of photos and before I moved to another location which is this and when I got here um, I walk around it wasn't easy I, I started with video as well just to like the previous location walked around for a while until I got to this side of the street and found out that you know it's quite a little bit busy and there's something that is familiar that I can do so I started with uh, the bus stop right here At first when I got to the bus stop, I wasn't quite sure what to shoot as, um, you know, there's few things over happening 
and there are few people so i moved up to the bus stop right there and started shooting unfortunately for me there was this guy at the bus stop he looked back at me as you will see in the video he looked back and wasn't comfortable with me shooting him so he stood up i apologized to him before he left and i went ahead and continued with my shots i was able to get a couple of shots here i think right here so i was trying to do multiple things at the same time yeah this is the guy looking back so i apologized to him moved away and i was you know i took a couple of shots right here i uh, hope you know look good because i couldn't see uh what was on my what, what picture i took so i did and, uh, and that was it so I moved on to the next location, walked around, and until I found another bus stop, but this time it was on the other side of the road. So I decided to take a couple of shots and hope it comes out right. After here, I moved ahead and walked around and um, I found this office. I have taken quite a number of shots until I realized it was a bank. So um, I just felt like, well, I'm actually shooting photos and video. I'm on the street. So uh, if someone comes to me and tell me to leave, then I'm probably going to leave. But, um, I wasn't really, I didn't really care about that. So I don't know if it's, if it's if it's right or wrong. I just felt like if someone needed me to leave, I would have left if I was asked to. So I moved around and I decided to head back because I felt like uh, I've actually I've been shooting for about two hours. It looks more less than that, but I've been there for like two hours trying to figure out what to do and what not to do, what photos to do, wait for people to walk around, you know. I think next time I'm coming right here, I will spend more time um, in each location and try to see how I can take better photos in each of these locations. Huh? I'm I'm just shooting. I'm shooting. That's it. So what just happened here was someone just walked up to me while I was trying to get a picture of those bags and you know stuff put over there and was asking me why I have to take pictures so I just walked away and drove off. I eventually came across this location on my way back and saw the light you know the way the sun is you know bouncing against the buildings and um, i just decided to take a video i wanted to take photos but um, i wasn't feeling it i really wasn't 
really feeling like taking pictures right here. I wasn't sure what exactly to take and I just did a little bit of video and it came out like this. So if you are actually enjoyed this video, kindly like and subscribe and um, see you in my next video. I promise it's going to be better than this. Thank you. Here's my